Not every woman who hates you is a lesbian. <laughs> because there couldn't possibly be that many lesbians in the world. Besides, you can't just call women lesbians. Because you might offend a real lesbian. <laughs> you can't say it. Oh my god. Especially if it's true. <laughs> I wasn't ready to start dating again. No, Cindy broke up with me four years ago, and it was mutual. I just don't want to rush into anything. I'm a Capricorn, okay? I need to take things slow. What? No, I'm not demanding. I'm responsible. I don't know, man. Maybe it's the women these days. I think they can have it both ways. Yeah, exactly. Like, the way they dress. They make sure you can see their bras and G-strings and everything. Well, I mean, yeah, sure. It looks great, but then they get miffed when you notice. Yeah, and the ones you don't mind you gawking are a little too superficial for my taste. I don't want another woman who's more experienced than me. Which I know is asking a lot in LA. No, I don't want someone impulsive either. You remember how long it took to get those lewd conduct charges off my record? Yeah, Cindy thought it was exciting to screw in public because people could see us. But no, you can't call her. I don't know, man. I don't trust feminists either. Yeah, no, Cindy was a feminist. When it was convenient, yeah. No, she used it as an excuse to screw around. Yeah, she said, Fucking anybody she wanted to was empowering or something. <laughs> you know what? None of that matters because today an exotic flower will change my life forever. I'm gonna write on my psychic friend. No, she's a friend who just happens to be a psychic. Well, she said it would be love at first sight. I guess I shouldn't get my hopes up. I mean, that sort of thing never happens to me. Oh! Not you, I'll call you back. Are you okay? I think so. What happened? Came around that corner and <laughs> kind of ran into me there. Oh. Uh, can you do something for me? Anything, anything at all. Just speak the words and it'll be done. Get off me. I'm sorry. Maybe you should sit down for a minute. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Okay. Do you feel lightheaded? Um, my heart's beating really fast. Yeah, so's mine. Fate sure has a funny way of bringing people together, doesn't it? I mean, uh, you could have a concussion or something. Well, I haven't been banged like that all week, but uh, I don't think I have a concussion. Are you sure? Can I call you an ambulance? You could, but I'd rather you call me Lily. Oh, okay, do you have their number? Or? That was a joke. Lily is my name. God, sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's just I, I hate for anything bad to happen to you. You just met me. I know, but I feel like I've known you. Wait, did you say Lily? Like the flower? Actually, it's a genus. It means a lot of flowers have the word lily in their name. But, uh, okay, but uh, 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 lily is a kind of flower, right? Yeah. Good, because you gotta be some kind of exotic flower. <laughs> okay, well, I better be on my way. No, uh, wait, wait. Wait, 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 you can't go, we just met. <laughs> yeah, but why well, wrote a good thing? But I love you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, I blurt out what I'm feeling sometimes. It's different, I'll give you that. Most guys just say something clever to get me in the sack. Oh, don't worry, I don't want to have sex with you. You don't? Why not? No, that, that came out wrong. I, <laughs> I definitely want to sleep with you, I just think we need to take things slow. So that's why you already told me you love me? 
I'm not usually this forward, but a psychic friend of mine told me that I was gonna meet an exotic flower today who was gonna change my life, so. Your psychic friend? No, no, it's not what you think. She's a friend who just happens to be a psychic. Okay, good, because it sounded like you were talking about one of those scam artists on the phone. Yeah, no, no, she's not. You see, when I was born, the moon was in Gemini, so I tend to wear my heart on my sleeve. I should have known. <laughs> Gemini is my moon sign. Wow. Can't get more compatible than two Gemini moons. Unless, of course, you've got a significant Libra in your chart. Only in my moon, Venus, and the North Node. Oh my god, you know astrology. Huh? I moved here seven years ago. You're the first woman I've ever met who actually knows astrology. Seven <laughs> years? Sounds like you're due for a significant life change. Exactly. <laughs> you think you just bumped into it? Maybe. So, what about you? Maybe. Wow, I was just asking about you in general, but I'll take being your significant life event. No, no, I was, I was saying I might be due for a life change also. Right. Me. <laughs> I better go. Okay, okay, I promise I'll stop. Uh, so, did anything happen to you seven years ago? <laughs> I got divorced. So if anyone's due for something significant in their life, it's me. Sorry to hear that. Eh, that's what happens when you take ecstasy at a nudist colony. What a jerk. Yeah. You didn't do the ecstasy though, I did. You? I, I, you, you, <laughs> you're a, a nudist? Well, I used to be, but they started cracking down on group sex, so it stopped being fun. Well, we all go through phases. Yeah, I guess you could look at it that way. I just like doing what I feel when I feel it. My ex said I was too impulsive, but I just like to have a good time, you know? Do you have Mercury in Pisces? And Neptune conjunct Moon in the 12th. Oh my god, you must be psychic. <laughs> just a little. Well, so then you already know how much I love you. <laughs> it doesn't really work that way. And I wouldn't call what I'm getting love, exactly. It's more like um, dirty talk. Oh, you have to believe me? That's love. Really? Because yeah. I'm getting the word whore quite a bit. Oh, I didn't realize it was that serious. I don't call just anyone a whore. I'm sorry if it offended you. Mm, it's all right. Besides, you'd be surprised how many times I've been called that today. <laughs> you must have a ton of Virgo in your chart. Ooh, I am oozing Virgo, which is the most sexual sign in the zodiac. Everyone thinks it's Scorpio. But, but it's not. not. Okay, uh, you have to believe that I'm not just saying this because I haven't had sex in a long time, but if we aren't going at it in five minutes, I'm gonna explode. Well, I can't have that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? <laughs> I've had some really bad luck with sex outdoors. Mm, that's part of the fun. Oh, well, you've done this before, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Well, not with a man. You, you mean you like women? Sometimes. I have a girlfriend I like to experiment with. What's wrong? Is she hot? <laughs> she is a Virgo with Scorpio rising. <sighs> oh shit. Mm. I don't have a condom. Oh, it's okay. No, my intuition is telling me you don't have any STDs. Yeah, yeah, but well, what about you? <laughs> well, I have to get tested once a month for my plea bargain, and the last one was inconclusive, which usually means negative. <sighs> It's gonna be the first time I've ever had sex with another Gemini. My moon sign is Gemini, my sun sign is Capricorn. An earth sign? Oh my god, you're an air sign, I didn't even think about that. Oh. You're just rushing into this relationship like you do everything else. No, this is just you rationalizing your behavior to avoid failure. Uh. Let me show you how multi-talented us Geminis are. <laughs> You know what, I can joke all I want about being needy and nurturing, but at the end of the day, I, I can't deal with someone who can't see past the nose on her own face. It's not that bad. Yeah, right. I learned my lesson about clashing signs in high school. Thank you very much.
You two know each other? Yes. No. Which is it? We just met and we're potential soulmates, but it didn't really work out. Uh-huh. Yes, I'm gonna need you to back away from his crotch and stand up. Of course, officer. Sir, could you pull your pants up for me? Oh. Now you wanna tell us what's going on here? See, officer, I knocked her down, and then we fell in love, but that was before I realized she was gonna drive me crazy with a new interest each week, which would ultimately limit our production. Does any of that make sense to you? I don't know. I was too busy throwing caution to the wind and adapting to hear anything he said. But I do remember the part about him knocking me down. I tried to get away, but he wouldn't let me go. What? I don't even want to tell you what led to me being on my knees. That's all I needed to hear. What are you doing? You're coming with us, sir. But I didn't do anything. Sure. What about her? We need her to give us a statement. That is, if it's okay with you? Of course, officer. So, you're a Gemini? I'm an Aquarius. Oh, so you like surprises and flexibility. Yeah, and I hate being like anybody you've ever known. Hey, after we uh, book this guy, do you want to get a coffee or something? Oh, can we go to a donut shop? I've never had donuts with a cop. <laughs> sure. What's your name? Lily. Like the flower? You know, my psychic friend told me that an exotic flower would change my life. Your psychic friend? Yeah. 